Here are five ways to make sure your man never cheats on you. First of all, stop wearing bonnets, okay? That shit is so unnecessary. I don't know why women do it. Sleep with your hair looking beautiful and gorgeous. Secondly, don't deny him the cookie, okay? Even if you're tired and it's been a long day of work and you're taking care of the kids, you need to give up the cookie at all times, even if you're tired. Thirdly, you're going to have to stop drinking, okay? Men don't like women who drink, and women who drink get cheated on the most, to be honest. So stop drinking. No more mimosas. No more Sunday nights out with the girls. Just none of it. Number four, when you get paid give him the paycheck let a man be a man okay let him lead you can't be the alpha female and lastly stop asking him where he is okay men don't like being asked where they are give him some space give him time to just do what, do what he needs to do okay no one has to be asked where are you five thousand times okay he said he's coming so he's coming Oh, and number six is a bonus. You're going to need a big red wig. You're going to need it. So I sent a little sarcasm uh, in, in, in the video. I'm just like, what is she doing? But then she became a clown. Let's get our thoughts about that uh, that video. How to keep your man from cheating. Is she speaking yeah. some facts? I give, I give her A, man. You know, most of those videos, man, it's usually some frumpy chick in the car. You know what I'm saying? Talking shit. Like I give her credit, man. She painted her face up, put the clown stuff on. You know, you're gonna need a wig. It, it was creative, so she get points for that. But if somebody wants to cheat, honestly, they're gonna cheat. Most most men, I'm gonna tell you the most men that cheat the the time of their life that they're in. You know what I mean? As far as their maturity and understanding what cheating entails and the people that that affect and the things that that affect. You know, like the so and it and it also matters like how they got in a relationship because a lot of dudes submit to a relationship you know they don't really want to get in it and it's like you know you almost like on a timetable where it's like eh, all right we in a relationship we in a yeah all right you got me and then they don't really want to be in it so they're not mentally there so you know, they're going to cheat. If something comes up, they didn't really want to be in this relationship. So they feel entitled to do it. So it's going to happen. Okay. Let me get one of the ladies' perspectives uh, started early. Well, you can't stop a man from cheating. I don't, I don't think it's in a woman's power to stop a man from cheating. Anybody yeah. from cheating. But um, there are things that a woman can do to mitigate the chances of it, but there is nothing you can actually do. Um, the whole like contact him a million times part, I think was like the only realistic thing she actually said in the video. Um, but like, you know, communicating with him, being there for him, supporting him throughout his endeavors or anything that he wants to do, um, being intimate sexually with him, I think are, key points to start off with to mitigate those things, but a man is going to do whatever a man wants to do at the end of the day. Well, I agree with the part about uh, talk about giving the cookies whenever he wanted. I agree. One there. Uh, whatever he wants. Huh. Let me have it. So as long as she gives up the cookies, that's going to prevent the man from cheating? No, it's oh, it, it, it'll help. I, I I don't know about all you other cats. It'll go help me. But I mean, what if it's bad, Hank? Huh? That's because you ain't right. pissing vinegar no more, bro. You ain't twenty years <laughs> old. You ain't no spring chicken. You ain't you got a one nut in your day, nigga. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. I want all. I want. I want my one nut a day. Four four plus days a week. Give it to me. <laughs> Give it to me. Hey, uh, Quest, I think I think you get older than age. I think you may, some men, just happy with the fact that a woman just sitting on their lap. <laughs> it's just the presence of a woman. I was shit. That ain't me, brother. Okay. <laughs> and I'm 47. Give me my once a day. If that's what it takes, give it to me. One a day, I'm, like a vitamin. <laughs> man, hey, I, I, had my, I had my vitamin C this morning. I need my vitamin S now. I need my sex. <laughs> <laughs> and I roll with that. Uh, uh, go ahead. Uh, go ahead, Bruce. My fault, King. Was you, were you done with the chores? Perspective. 
Hank? I don't know. Is it just me? Hank that got lost. Okay. I'm trolling. It's like here in the Matrix. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were talking to me. My bad. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, I asked him uh, like this. I'm like, damn, he's been reprogrammed. <laughs> no, I didn't think about that sex, but no, but seriously, oh, uh, I think you might gotta get that checked out, man. I think that was some serious right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he went to the vitamin shot. You got a man on point, man. He's on point. You know what I'm saying? And, and and some of those things, what she was saying was right. Let a man be a man. That's facts. You have to let your man be a man. You know, a lot of these ladies right now, they they want to control and 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 dictate. And really be a mother figure over the man, really. And if they feel like they don't have that control, it's just like you know that, you know, hey, if I if I don't control him, then he's gonna just be off doing what he wants to. And and most of the time that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time that's not even the case. He's just enjoying life, you know, trying to do what he needs to do to uh, uh to make the family help the family be successful, and and to not only that, but make this, his marriage or his relationship successful. By letting him be a man, you're, you're, you're part of that helping. But when you're trying to control him, you're not helping. You know, if say he, if he works for a, a, a company, he's already been controlled by his bosses, his managers, his, maybe even if his customers, if he has, say, his own business or something. So he's already been controlled by everything else. All of a sudden, now he got to come home and be controlled by his wife, maybe his kids. You know, no. I mean, when does he have his? You know what I'm saying? When? All right, go ahead, Cal. And I think uh, I think Jay actually uh, brought up something good that goes along with your point, Hink, about control. Because some guys actually end up in a relationship that they didn't even want to be in, like that. So they just end up, you know, two people call themselves boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. When y'all really never had that conversation about what your intentions are, you just get caught up. So you end up getting cheated on because this person never wanted to really be with you like that, and, and you know, to begin with. So I think, you know, one of the best ways to get, you know, prevent, I don't know if there's a way to prevent anybody from cheating. You just don't get in a relationship with that person. That if you don't really know what their character is, if you don't really know what their intentions are, what you like that, you know, don't get attached to somebody so quickly, at least emotionally, to where y'all can't even really have a conversation about what you are. You know, people who cheat usually just aren't satisfied with whatever they're getting at the moment. And, you know, a lot of that is just because y'all didn't really have the conversation to even really understand what y'all are even standing at as a, as a two people. So I think that, you know, outside of really having the conversations, you just got to trust that, you know, the person well enough where they're not going to cheat on you. But how to prevent it other than giving it up at every opportunity, like Hink said, I mean, there's really no way to there's really no way to prevent it from happening. It's just, you got to trust that they are going to have your best interest at heart if y'all are really in a relationship. All right. Wes, what are your thoughts about it, sir? How to keep a man from cheating? Pick better. Pick better. It's my thing, right? And and I want to talk to the fellas. Because this is this is this is how I think. Fellas, if you have something to lose, you won't risk it on a 20-minute session with somebody that ain't even worth it. Huh. The dudes that's out here doing it either don't have something to lose or uh, they just don't value the things that they do have to lose. Um, that Like, it's not even, I think I heard Anton say some shit like this the, um, this is past weekend. It's like, it never in my mind can I even fathom wasting, like, risking 20-minute session, a 20-minute nut and throw away everything that I'm over here that I've built currently and that I'm trying to build, bro. Like, it's people in circles that I run in, business circles that I run in, that if they were to hear about Quest out here fucking around on his fucking wife, especially as, as much as the people that fuck with me respect my wife, they would be like, what, nigga? Yeah, I can't rock with you, homes. I can't do it. So... If you're not in that position, fellas, strive to be in that position, right? Strive to be in a position where you're surrounded by uh, uh, individuals that look down and frown upon foolishness like that, bro. That shit is fucking stupid. 
do I think there's a way for you to stop a man from doing that? The only way I think is just choosing the right man. Don't choose a man that ain't got nothing to lose because you know he don't, he ain't got nothing to, he don't care. He don't care. And I know things are relative. I'm not saying go and find you a millionaire nigga who got all these different assets. It's not what I'm saying. But some people, some men don't even value their family. And they'll go out here and risk it all. You know what I'm saying? So pick better. Ladies, vet these niggas properly. And then just make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing to try to mitigate any of those types of movements, right? But if you if you do your due diligence on the on the guy you pick, you shouldn't have these problems. I don't know. Maybe I'm off base. Hey, no, you're exactly on point. I got a yeah. question for you, Quest. Do you think the men should pick better as well? Where where they wouldn't have to be in the position? Because if, if they chose the right woman that's for them, then they wouldn't go looking nowhere else. I'm just curious. So I agree with that, right? Like when I picked my wife, like that was it for me, dog. That's it. Like I'm still sexually attracted to my wife just like how I was when I first met her. You know what I'm saying? Still. You know what I mean? So, yeah, fellas, pick better. Because I know some of you niggas right now done picked a woman that, like, for example, didn't work out before uh, uh, before, uh, when you first met her. She didn't have those types of habits. Then she done messed around and had one or two kids. I mean, this is just physics. What do you think is going to happen to her? Now you're not sexually attracted to this particular woman now because she done blew up or what have you. And she's still not, she's not picking up new habits. She didn't have these habits to fucking begin with. All this comes with the proper vetting initially, bro. But just like Jay said, uh, you know, I what, what, what was the exact words you used, Jay, when you were like, they they submit to the relationship? They're like, hi, right, you know, I, no. All right, we boyfriend and girlfriend now. All right, that's cool. Yeah. All right, whatever you say, bro, whatever you say, we, we right. can do that. That's cool. You see what I'm saying? So right. if you pick the right one, you'll have these issues. Here's the other thing, fellas. If you know that that's how you want to move, right? You know that you love you love the women that you that you got right here, but you know that you're gonna want to be with other women. Make sure you're honest and upfront from the beginning. A lot of you niggas is fucking cowards, bro. Hey, run my hey, keep track of my cuss count because I see today we're gonna have one of them conversations that uh is gonna warrant a, a, a handful of cussing. A lot of you niggas is fucking cowards, bro, and you jump into relationships. And you know that that's how you want to move. But you're too fucking scary to just tell the woman and be honest with her and let her know, like, hey, you know what? I, I, I don't think one woman is going to be able to complete my appetite for, you know, the remainder of my life. I may want more. You'd be surprised. There are some women that will accept that. And if she don't, pack up and move on and don't waste this woman's time. And you dragging women through the fucking mud. That's fucking stupid. And you cowardice. I'm gonna call it. And, ahead, and like, real quick, like Quest said, they they're gonna object. Some women are gonna be cool with it. Others are gonna object to it. They are gonna shred you up. Oh, what you waiting for, nigga? You 45 years old. You waiting? You know what I'm saying? Like you gonna get shredded either way, but. Be honest, dog. All right, so, uh, ladies, <laughs> you can do all those things on that girl's list in that video, but please don't be fooled. You know, there's there's no formula, there's no blueprint, there's no no password, there's no recipe. It's no one you can choose to keep a man from cheating, uh, depending on how you carry yourself. Appreciate the market value can decrease the chances, but the only way is to ask the man, is there anything you can do, any actions you can take, any that is any desires you can fulfill to keep him from cheating? Other than that, it's no other way. It's no other way. All right, go ahead, Miss Toya. Yeah. Um, you know, everybody may valid points you know at the end of the day it doesn't matter 
there's nothing that you can do to stop something like that from happening. You can be the best wife in the world. You could have the, um, you could be like the 10 on a, you know, marketplace. You could, you could have everything that any man's heart can desire. But when it comes to cheating and infidelity, that's a mindset. It doesn't matter. You, he could have been the best mate when you met him and everything could be amazing in your marriage. But we're, we live in an imperfect world and shit happens. And it's not to say that, oh, um, you know, if, if you're this perfect man, like there's good, really good men that have made very bad mistakes. And I'm pretty sure that they feel bad about the mistakes that they made. Let's let's use example Kobe Bryant. Right. We have we heard about that one incident he had and we ain't never heard about nothing else after that. He probably saw how much it affected his family and affected his, you know, reputation, his image and everything. That's why I say, like, the only thing you can do in a marriage or in a relationship is just do what you have, do what you're supposed to do, complete your roles. But me as a married woman, I'm not out here thinking about if my husband is going to do something. I don't have time to think about stuff like that. That's not what I consume in my head. I love my husband to death. I, I hope that he loves me. I hope he respects our marriage as much as I, res I respect our marriage because that's how it goes. People are only going to respect what you respect. If you respect your marriage, people are going to respect it just as much as you do. So when it comes to cheating, there is nothing as a woman that I can do to stop my husband from cheating if, he, if that's something that he decides to do. All I'm going to do is complete my roles as a wife, carry myself as a wife in these streets away of our man. And hope to God and pray to God that my husband does the same. But no, there's there's not a blueprint. There's not a book. There's nothing to be like, oh, this is this is what every woman needs to read to make sure that her significant other doesn't cheat on her. That's not life. It doesn't work that way. But, you know, real quick, I feel like if Amber was here, she would say, you know, she brought up that helicopter. Sometimes you got to, you know, sometimes got to do some tricks in there, too. You got to keep things interesting. You got to keep it fresh. You know what I mean? You got to sometimes you got to show up with an outfit. Here. If Mr. Logic was here, he'd say sometimes you got to show up butt naked with a coat on or whatever but, it is. We'll say that's what we're doing. What, but guess what? Every wife knows that. Every wife knows mm -hmm. that how, how Betty Wright said, lady in the streets. Mm -hmm. Every wife knows that. Yeah. And you got to reinvent too. You know, you can't even but Guess even what? that freak from 20 years ago, you're gonna have to reinvent your uh, no, that was you know what I'm and guess what? Just like just like Quest said, just like Quest said, me and my husband been married for 13 years. I am still sexually attracted to my husband the same way I was the first time I laid eyes on him. Nothing has changed. Nothing. So that's why I say all that goes in play with your roles as a wife. As a wife, I know that my husband is to be pleased. When he asked, I'm here. He's never turned down. He is, look, balls is drained, to be specific. Smoke okay? weed every day. You see what I'm saying? I don't have to look like a freak on the inside to not be one when I need to be. I take care of my yeah. husband. But you know, so I feel like a lot of women aren't like that. Yeah. Though. You know what I mean? you come, like, you know, a man may come ask to do something I new. take these yeah. roles seriously, Kyle. I, I take these roles seriously. <laughs> What about so, what about that Creole uh, voodoo or whatever y'all got there? Spaghetti or something. <laughs> don't start you. Don't you go start. about whatever it takes. I'm not burying drawers in the background, and I'm not putting my cycle in my uh, red sauce brews. I don't do that kind of stuff. <laughs> hey, well, here, here's something I do want to say to kind of get back on on um, the mama in the video is Kevin Samuels used to say all the time. Single women keep women single. Now, I don't know that this particular woman is single, but the uh, putting out this like this fear mongering type, these tactics, like all that's gonna do is scare women into jumping into relationships because in their heads, all they're gonna be thinking, well, all these men just cheat anyways, all these men just cheat anyways. I'm like, she probably not even married to even sit to, to even have or has not been married to even come up with these ideas. She probably pulled that from somebody else. And because that was her situation, she done pass it off to you. Now you finna just pass it off to your following them. Come on, man. We got to grow the fuck up, bro. We really do. But see what, I, but see what I took from the video 
And I mean, I, I could have been looking at it wrong, but I took from the video, she was saying all these things. And then at the end of the video, she made her face up as a clown. And what I took from that was saying, if you believe everything I'm saying, you're a clown. Like, cause this is not true. This is not real life. You yeah, mean, I, mean, that's, I, I, think, I don't, I don't think she believed what she was saying anyway. You know what I'm saying? It's all a bullshit ass big joke to her. Now, is she married or not? Like you said, Quest, we don't know. But to me, she just took it as a joke. And so, for all we know, man, she, she might be a lover of other women. Who knows, man? Just to be a, a goddamn clown and do some silly shit. So I took it to the flip of that. I thought she was saying, if you're one of these women that's out here doing all these things to prevent a man from cheating, you're a clown. That's how I took it. And I think just based off some of the comments that I saw in that video, I, I think I saw that a couple of days ago or whatever, that's what I took from it. She was like, all you women out here that's doing this in order to prevent a man from cheating, y'all clowns. That's how I took that. Oh, that's a good take, man. I like the two different perspectives, man. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a magic. you frozen. You can't even have conversations. Oh, yeah. like, so, yeah. wait, wait, we got... Hey, JR, can we get a GoFundMe started for Toya Internet? Please, baby. We got to get you on a gig. Uh, gig and more, baby. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as soon as this is over, I'm going like, to ask, ask her husband permission to be able to talk with them about the Internet speed they have. I don't think a lot of people even realize... The speed that they have, they just take the first thing smoking, whatever is on sale. It's very, if you're going to stream, it's very important that your megabytes per second is up there a little bit. Hey. If, you got, if you got kids in the house playing PlayStations, Xbox, if you got uh, the, like the Roku or the, the Fire Stick, if you got that bootleg cable that you guys are streaming, it's pulling from that same internet connection. So if you raise up that number as high as it can go, especially if you do this full time. Again. As high as it can go, it gives you a little bit of wiggle room, a little breathing room to be able to stream on here without any issues. So Yeah, just going to get you a gig. It's 2022. See, right now, the cost of a gig of internet is what internet used to cost you back 10 years ago, okay? Yeah. 